Lean the ball slightly forward to expose the sweet spot. This is about a quarter of the way up the back seam. Before moving back, stand over the ball in a kicking position. You're able to judge the footing and cue up the actions that follow. Move back to a comfortable position. There is no particular pattern to moving back, but whatever it is, keep it consistent. After moving back to begin your run up, you need to be relaxed, so take a few deep breaths. Before you move back into your kick, you're relaxed and you need to focus. One way to do this is use key words and phrases, like head down, follow through. Before moving in to kick the ball, try using imagery. This means playing a movie in your head of kicking, with the ball sailing through the posts. Approach the ball by running in an arc. When you arrive at the ball, you need to be side on. Turn your non-kicking shoulder side on to the target. The non-kicking arm is ahead of the body, drawing the non-kicking shoulder forward so that you are side on to the ball. The key to a successful kick is placing your non-kicking foot in line with the target. It must be hip width apart from the ball and aligned to the target. Any changes in these two factors are the main causes of inaccurate kicking. Swing through the strike zone. Power is generated by having your hips open as the supporting foot is placed and quickly closing them as the kick is made. Your kicking foot moves down and through the line of the ball. Keep your head over the ball. By doing this, you can be sure your body weight is moving forward through the strike zone. Make contact with the top of your instep. This is the bone at the top of your instep. Rise onto your toes of the non-kicking foot. By following through, your weight moves through the ball. You will end up on your toes and may even do a small skip jump. When following through on your kick, make sure it is straight towards the target. After kicking the ball, you should end up balanced. This will be a good indicator that you have a straight follow through. Goal kicking can be complicated, but you can make it easier by breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And remember, practice, practice, practice makes perfect.